Nothing better than a nighttime blow. Oh Welcome back to the Vista Saga. In this video, we're going to be doing some work to the manifolds. We'll also be rebuilding the throttle body and assembling the turbo and wastegate. All right, so while they're sandblasting, um, I'm gonna rebuild the throttle body. This one. This is the NA throttle body from the junkyard laser we found. We'll start by taking the throttle body apart and cleaning the parts really well. Then we'll move on to painting it. Get the throttle body painted up. <laughs> what? Astrology emphasis on the ass. Isn't that astrology? No, it's it's astronomy. No, no, astronomy. It's, it's, it's one hundred percent astrology. Yeah, yeah, right. Travis pastrami. Per Travis astrology. The snowmobile racer? Yeah. She probably does race snowmobiles. Well, that's Ken Walk. Everything. Ken Walk? Yeah. I thought it was Sean Black. Do it, yeah, it was too hard to push, pull down. You try. Ooh, she got me. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> that just feels nice. What you got there? Is that a waist straight? Yes, yes. You got room right here. Pretty cool yard, Jeremy. It's breaking. That's alright. I've never heard I'm almost this quiet. Quiet. Come on, dude. <clears throat> this weather really helps. My kids, man. Oh, that. Yeah. That was a sideward span instead of a faceward span. You got different caps for that thing? No, the no, nozzle you can turn, turn the nozzle. to do a vertical or horizontal. Oh, face. really? Yeah. Or diagonally. Diagonally. Yeah. Diagonally. So we got some parts being painted here. Got the wastegate actuator. This is the Han Racecraft wastegate actuator for a 20G. Got the manifold here. It's a, this is a stock 2G manifold. Here's our um, 16G hot side. Got grill paint on these. We're gonna put them under heat shields, but uh, this will just stop the surface rust. Throttle, cable, holder, turner, and the throttle body here. So, yeah. Now Alex is installing the lift. Say hi! Hey! With the manifold dry, we can install a new OEM multi layer gasket and install the manifold to the head. Now that it's been painted, we can reassemble the throttle body. We're using some high temp o-rings for the shaft seals and silicone grease to lube up the moving parts. We've had good results with this method. To finish off the throttle body, we picked up this 1G idle set stop screw from dsmotorsport.com. Thanks John! In the last Vista video, we assembled the engine, but at the time, we didn't have the right oil pickup tube for the oil pump. Since we had to use the turbo oil pan, the Vista pickup tube didn't go deep enough into the pan. So after measuring, we found that the 2G DSM pickup tube worked perfectly. So we picked one up and installed it, then sealed up the pan.
Next, we'll move on to the turbo, but first we've got to paint the compressor housing. Okay, so now it's time to rebuild the turbo, or build, rebuild. Um, yeah, what we've got is the center cartridge from a 16G. We have an eBay seven centimeter TDO5 hot side, which these are fine. These are fine. You just have to have a wastegate that lines up with it. This is a Mitsubishi wastegate from a Han Super 16G, which happens to work perfectly with the alignment. Then we have standard 20G compressor cover, which is from a Han Super 20G. So we're making some sort of a TDO 520G. And then we got this big old billet 20G wheel extended tip with the really tall blades and the skinny uh, center post. And this is gonna be a powerful little 20G. And we have a nine blade TDO5 wheel. This is kind of the newer versions that are out and about that are the, um, the lighter in canal. The nice nine blade design. So let's put it together. Assembling the turbo is pretty straightforward. Don't use cheap rebuild kits, don't force anything, and make sure you get it all installed in the right order and use plenty of assembly loop. Rotating assembly done. Got it torqued to 100 inch pounds and it feels perfect. Is this what we heard just from it? Oh. Yeah, because oh. this, this floats until you get the hot side on. Yep. Yeah, this is the heat shield. Gotcha. Yeah. So, perfect fit. Everything looks really good. So let's get the housings on. Next, we attach the compressor housing and turbine housing to the center section with a snap ring and a V-band clamp. All right. There it is. This is our... Um, our 20G. The nine blade turbine wheel. Alex ported the wastegate hole pretty good. There's our billet, billet wheel right there. Now we're gonna modify or adjust or whatever we need to do to get the wastegate actuator on. All right, now we're gonna put Alex's first turbo on his first 4G6B. Before we make the wastegate actuator fit, we're going to mount the turbo so it's easier to work on. All right. There it is. It's half the size of the engine. Yeah. That's good. It looks like one liter right there. It's one liter. Half the size of the engine. You're right. The actuator didn't come with the end on it that attaches to the wastegate flapper arm. So we pulled one off a junk one we had laying around but the thread pitch is different. So we're gonna drill out and tap the correct thread pitch onto this end piece. That's tightened down. Obviously we can clock that down a little bit to get it closer. You wanna clock it some more? Not yet, because I can line it up right now. Oh, sure. So. We probably wanna bottom it out. shut. I actually, oh, no, we, want we want it shorter. We wanna be able to add more toitness. You yeah. want to be able to preload. So this we frame. actually want it shorter than this. It has to be shorter than that. So maybe right? to the where the rest line is, and we can take that Which jam is, that off. Pulls it that way. I'm still thinking we cut it right here with that. That line yeah. is. That's, I know. I want to get the nut off because yeah. that's still just not quite. So yeah, I think we should go to that. Just to the right and of the hole. Gives us, or just on the hole. On the hole. Sure. And it gives us plenty of meat. Yeah. To then tap it. Let's chop it down. Uh, 
So are you guys gonna get like a hotel or something for Chad's wedding or? That's a cut. Wow. We do need to thread that on a little more. Thread what? The this. Huh. This this has plate. This isn't all the way pulled tight. You want to have to use a little bit of spring tension. Oh! Is that Jesus Satan music? Shut up. More? Yeah, a little more. Okay. Is that, is that bottomed out? <laughs> Hope not. Oh yeah, that's good. That's what we want right there. Very nice. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. 14. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Yep. That's all the farther it needs to open. Uh. Oh yeah, there it goes, all the way open. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. That looks really good. That, that's... I actually think that being a little... I was... Is what's helping it not bind. Yeah, it looks really smooth. That's a good... That's a good mechanism there. Alright, so here's where we're at. We have... The turbo's just on right now, so it's... With the engine. Um, we've got the dipstick in. We got all the power steering brackets and mounts. And we're still gonna pop this off and rebuild it, but we just wanted to put it on. We've got the crank pulley on. And yeah, so this was the big thing. We needed to get this made and adjusted and everything and find out what PSI this opens at. And it looks to be about 14. Um, so it's probably a one bar actuator. And we wanted to make sure we didn't have clearance issues, which we don't. That's good. All right, so now we got the gasket on the turbo, and we're just torquing down the, the turbo bolts. Right now. Right now. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Are those ARPs? Yeah. Because you don't want them to slip around. No. You don't want to have to do the DSM-4 wrench weld mod. No. And they're free. Free 99. Nice to me. Who's that? And the guy who got the wrong turbo bolts. <laughs> <laughs> FB manifold? Yep. Yeah. All right, sweet. Turked! Turked. Oh, did you hear that fast boy outside? I, did, I don't yeah. know if you guys heard that, but there's a fast boy out there. Now, we need to do the yeah, turbo do oil return. So we've got this fitting on here and this one came welded on the pan that we found in the dirt. Found in the dirt. Yep, in the dirt. There's that. So here is completed oil return. Right there. Can I turn my Satan music That's... back up? Hey Alex. Alex, what do you come can, up can with you this? can you to prove it? Why? Do you think it has too much kink? No, no, no. It, it, so we think it looks kink. phenomenal. What?
Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll work on the intake manifold and fuel tank, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Oh, my God.